just a fair warning, we're going to be using a little bit of uh, math. Hello and welcome to another episode of Hockey Talkie. My name is Clay. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, pandemic times call for pandemic measures, and that's what the NHL has given us in the form of a 24-team pandemic playoff tournament thing to hopefully finally finish off this 2019-2020 season. And because of this format, we see the Blackhawks, against all odds, actually have a chance to win their seventh Stanley Cup in franchise history. Now we're pretty used to seeing the NHL playoffs featuring 16 teams, eight teams per conference. And in recent years, we're also used to seeing each of those conferences bracketed by their respective divisions. So for example, you see from last year's playoffs, you see the Western Conference, the left-hand side of the bracket, the Central Division on top, the Pacific Division down on the bottom, and then on the right-hand side of the bracket, the Eastern Conference, you see the Atlantic Division on top, and the Metropolitan Division on the bottom. Now, it didn't always used to be that way. It used to be that both the Western Conference and the Eastern Conference were just simply seeded one through eight and bracketed in a way that's very similar to, say, the NCAA basketball tournaments. But in either case, in either bracketing solution, whether it's the simple bracket or the division-based bracket, uh, a team's path to a Stanley Cup was pretty clear. You knew that if they won their matchup, they would be facing the winner of this specific matchup. However, this year in 2020, that's not the case. This year, not only is the NHL increasing the amount of teams from 16 to 24, but they're also introducing reseeding for every single playoff round, which means that for every single playoff round, the top remaining seed will always play the lowest remaining seed. Second highest remaining seed will always play the second lowest remaining seed, so on and so forth. And so that introduces a lot more variables than what we're used to. So if we take a look at the Blackhawks' potential path to a Stanley Cup, we know two things. Number one is that the 12th seed Chicago Blackhawks will be playing the 5th seed Edmonton Oilers in the qualifying round. That is a guarantee. That is a certainty. The other thing that we do know is that if the Chicago Blackhawks end up winning their best of five qualifying round series against the Edmonton Oilers and move on to the first round of the actual playoffs, we know that because they're the 12th seed, the lowest seed, they'll be playing the first overall seed in that first round. But other than that, we don't really know anything else. Now, considering that we played 70-ish regular season games, we should be able to tell from those final standings who the number one overall seed would be, who the Blackhawks would be playing in that first playoff round. And if we went by the standings of that shortened regular season, we'd know that it would be the St. Louis Blues. However, we don't know that. And we don't know that because the NHL has decided that the top four seeds are going to be determined by a round-robin set of games among the top four seeds in each conference. So the Blackhawks have the possibility of playing either the St. Louis Blues or the Colorado Avalanche or the Vegas Golden Knights or even the Dallas Stars. So the question then becomes, what are the odds of playing each of those four teams in that first playoff round? Well, that's where the math comes in. Here lies before you every single possible scenario of the round robin set of games. And this is just for the Western Conference. In the round robin, each of the top four teams will be playing three games. They'll each be playing each other once. So there's a total of six games. And you may be looking at this scrolling graphic in front of you thinking, well, this seems like a lot of scenarios for just six games. And on the surface, that would be a reasonable assumption if the NHL uh, just used straight up wins and losses. However, the NHL is a little bit weird in the sense that they have the overtime loser point. And well, the NHL is implementing regulation overtime rules for these round robin games, meaning that each of those six games have four different possible scenarios. You have team A 
winning in regulation. Team A, winning in overtime. Team B, winning in regulation. Team B, winning in overtime. Each of those scenarios distributes points differently. So team A wins in regulation. That means team A gets two points. Team B gets zero points. Team A winning in overtime means that, well, team A gets two points. Team B gets one point. Team B wins in regulation, meaning that they get, well, team B gets two points. Team A gets zero points. And then team B winning in overtime means that team B gets two points. Team A gets one point. So four different possible scenarios Six total games, four to the sixth. Well, if you don't have that at the top of your head, I'll tell you it's 4,096 possible scenarios. Now, you may also be noticing that not all of these 4,096 possible scenarios are resulting in unique seeding scenarios. In fact, there are many scenarios where the Blues are going to be the first seed, the Avalanche are going to be the second seed, the Golden Knights are going to be the third seed, and the Stars are going to be the fourth seed. That is because there are a lot fewer seeding scenarios. There are a lot fewer ways to order four teams. In fact, there's just 24 ways. Now, of those 24 seeding scenarios, six of those are going to be the Blues being in the first seed. Six of those are going to be the Avalanche being in the first seed. Six of those are going to be the Golden Knights in the first seed. And six of those are the Stars in the sixth seed. So you might think, well, that just means that there is a 25% chance of each team being the first seed and 25% chance of the Blackhawks playing either of those four teams. But that's not correct. That's where we look at the 4,096 possible scenarios because it's not an even 25% split across the board. What split is it? Well, here you go. These are the odds of each of the four teams being the first seed. So if the Blackhawks end up beating the Edmonton Oilers, they'll have a 34% chance of playing the St. Louis Blues, a 26% chance of playing the Colorado Avalanche, a 22% chance of playing the Vegas Golden Knights, and an 18% chance of playing the Dallas Stars. Now let's say the Blackhawks find a way to beat whichever of those four teams that ends up being in that first playoff round and find a way to move on and advance to round number two. Well, in round number two, there are six different possible Western Conference teams the Blackhawks could play. And you may ask, well, why not all of them? Why are there some teams missing here? Well, that's because of reseeding. Since the Blackhawks are the 12th seed the lowest seed possible they will always play the highest seed remaining which means if say the 11th seed makes it all the way to the second round there is still no way the blackhawks could play them because there is guaranteed in the second round that there is a higher seed for the blackhawks to play but if the blackhawks find a way to win in that round against one of those six teams and move on to the Western Conference Finals, then that opens the door for every single remaining Western Conference team to be a possibility outside of, well, the Blackhawks and also the Edmonton Oilers, who the Blackhawks are guaranteed to play in that qualifying round. So the Western Conference Final, there are 10 teams that the Blackhawks could possibly play. That's a lot of teams. That's a lot of possibilities. But let's just say the Blackhawks find a way to beat one of those 10 teams and move on to the Stanley Cup final, that's where they have the opportunity to play one of 12 Eastern Conference teams. And as you can see, past the first playoff round, I didn't do any more scenarios or odds or anything because the amount of possibilities past that first round, the amount of scenarios that reaches up into numbers that our brain can't really even wrap our heads around. So I didn't even bother with that. I stopped with the 4,096 possible scenarios for the first playoff round. But here's the thing. If the Blackhawks make it all the way to the Stanley Cup final against all the odds, all the different scenarios, all the different possibilities, well then I guess there's just only one thing left to do. What's that? Win the whole fucking thing. <laughs>